Hey there everyone, Vaish here, back again with another video and in this video we're gonna talk about getters and setters and they're almost exactly same as we see them in the JavaScript world. In the TypeScript world they are also same but with some of the interesting thing and these interesting things are usually being asked in interviews when you mention that yes I do have an expertise in TypeScript as well. So let's take an example, let's move on to the system, take an example of that and nothing too much to be worried about, it's really easy. So we already got this uh, city, so something like that and there could be a lot of use cases of these getters and setters. Uh, one common, let's just try out and again, these are some of the basic examples that I'm going through. Uh, let's just see how to design a method which says uh, get Apple email. So maybe you're designing a software for Apple and it doesn't throw away the email directly, it gives you the random email or some email based on that so you can go ahead and provide a getters like that uh, so get apple email in case you want to make a getter of that you just annotate it with a get keyword and that's it, it you make it as a getter and that's all now this get apple email is going to return a string and we're going to go ahead and annotate that so it doesn't do automatically things for us and notice here right now it says a getter accessor must, re must return a value so let's go ahead and return a value we're going to go ahead and say hey i want to return a simple string and that string is going to say something like apple and then we're going to use a dollar sign like that and we're going to say this dot email so you just append the existing email with the apple keyword in front of it maybe you don't want to do this maybe you want to generate a completely random email for that totally up to you totally your decision just wanted to make sure that this is now a getter and let's also do some setter example and show you something really interesting, which is a kind of a gotcha moment for all the people who are getting started with the TypeScript. So for example, let's just say I come here and I design a private uh, property here. So this private property is going to be something like, uh, let's just say a course count. So we're gonna go ahead and say underscore course count. And we're gonna get started with a course count of one. So whenever a user registered on your website, he always gets at least one course, maybe an introductory course on JavaScript or whatever that course is, we always get started with that. Now this is already private, that means I cannot access this outside of this class, we have seen that already in the last video, uh, so that is all. But you also want to design some getters and setters for this property, so that if anybody wants to access this, they are allowed to access it, but not directly via that method, which is a getter. And also if somebody wants to manipulate that method, it doesn't allow it to directly set that value. We want to have some setters for it. So let's go ahead and try and see that how we can actually do this. Really simple. First and foremost, we're going to design a simple getter for that. So if somebody wants to access a course count, we're going to provide a method just like that. And we're going to say that this is going to return you a number. Okay, all right, really simple. And all we're going to do in this one is we're going to say this dot uh, underscore course count. Now this is a really basic getter that we have designed, but there could be a more complex logic involved at. For example, you might want to check whether there's a unique ID or token is there in the user session and don't only we are going to return him back the course count, there could be a lot more complex logic, we are not worried about that. We are focusing on the syntax in the series and all the hidden details. Similarly, just like we have a getter, we could have a setter as well and something interesting about the setter, obviously it starts with the set keyword and then we're going to go ahead and say that this is going to a course count. But this time, obviously, you want to update it with some values. So somebody is going to give you a course number. And here comes the interesting part. Now, this is not going to return anything. So I'll say that, hey, this is a void and just like that. And notice here, this says pop up that a setter accessor cannot have a return type of annotation. So this is something which is an interview question that whenever you are making a setter, you cannot actually make it a void. Uh, you cannot make it other data type as well, like number or anything. No, this is not allowed. TypeScript simply wants you to have nothing here so this is a perfect setter okay because setter is accessing this property or whatever the property are mentioning it and setting some values on that so for example somebody is giving you so you might want to have a simple if and else check statement so that if the course num is less than or equal to one we don't want to do anything because that's a default value so in that case maybe you want to throw a new error uh, something like that and you want to say something like this give him an error that course count should be more than uh, one. So that's a basic error. Otherwise, if that's not the case, you might want to do more check or something, but we all we're gonna do is in this case is simply uh, this dot underscore course count is gonna get updated with whatever the course number you're designing. 
So this could be any logic as complex as you want. Maybe you also want to check whether the user who is updating the course count has purchased or not, whatever that use case is. What we are worried about is simply to have a getters and setter. Important part is in the setters, there should be nothing that is the return type. That is the basic. Now, also one more thing which we didn't discuss in the last video, we saw that there could be private properties. Similar to that, there could be private methods as well. It is very obvious, but still wanted to cover this topic. So let's just say you want to have a private method. Let's just call this as delete uh, token. So let's just say we have a delete token. Uh, right now it does nothing, uh, but maybe for some reason we'll have a console log and it says uh, token deleted. So for some reason you want to only access this method via the class only. So now if you go at here, and try to access this method, which is very obvious that if I want to say uh, delete delete token, this is not allowed because this is a private property and only accessible within the class. Very obvious. Uh, we already know this one. So this was just basic. Now, this is a really basic. Let me summarize this. Getters and setters are pretty common, just like you use them in JavaScript. Get is used to get any property. It doesn't mean that you always have to get a private property. Maybe you want to get a public property via some method by adding some additional logic that is also totally valid and you can actually use that. But in most use cases, these properties are being accessed or these uh, getters and setters are designed so that any private method can be exposed outside, but with some additional logic or additional, uh, you can say some restrictions that you want to put up. So that is why it is being used. And it doesn't really mean that always there should be a getter that needs to be a setter as well. Sometimes maybe you want to just have an expose property, don't want anybody to set it up. That is also the case. So there could be one, there could be both. And in the setters, the most important part is that there is no return type. Even if you try to put up something like void, uh, JavaScript or TypeScript will yell at you and you should not be doing that in case somebody asks you in the interview. Yep, that is the case. That is how TypeScript is designed. So that is all your getters and setters uh, in the TypeScript. Really easy, very accessible. And let's go ahead and catch up in the next video.